So let's look at how we use the Fox and Wood calculator. You're going to need two sets of information. One is the plaintiff's taxable income, and secondly, the workers' compensation amounts that they received. Now, we've got it going from 2008 to 2013, but most people aren't going to be receiving workers' compensation for that long. So let's just start it in 2011. So from the tax return, we happen to know that they got paid $35,000 in that year, and they got $40,000 in this year, and it dropped down to $25,000. And the workers' comp amount, which we've got from either two sources, one is the schedule of payments of workers' compensation, or alternatively, from the uh, plaintiff's group certificates where the, where the employer's been terminated and the workers' compensation insurer is paying them directly and therefore issuing a group certificate. So let's say in the first year they were they got workers' compensation for a period, they got $10,000. In the second period, let's just say they got $40,000 and they returned to work in the third year and got $15,000. Now we can see that the income less workers' compensation is $25,000, 0 and 10000 And so the first thing we do is calculate the tax on the taxable income. So that's how much tax they actually paid. And then we calculate the tax on the income less the workers' compensation amount. And the Fox and Wood claim is the difference between these two numbers. So in this case, it's $8,122. The most difficult thing in this process is, one, making sure we've got all the plaintiff's tax returns, but actually finding out the workers' compensation amount, where they've received an amount from the insurer directly. It's quite easy because then you can just go to their group certificate for that period. But say in, in one of these years, the they were still employed by the employer and continuing to be paid, and the insurer kind of recoups that amount from the, from the workers' comp insurer. In that case, you've got to go through the workers' comp schedule and split it up into various periods, into the relevant financial years. But anyway, that's how you use the Fox and Wood calculator. Very easy. Thank you.